Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvement? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Tape TV. A little while back, we had the film crew out on the water and we were filming some of the fuel docks in town. And what happens very commonly is when guys are putting gas into their boat or diesel into the boat, is after they get done, it kind of splashes back at you. And welcome back. We again have the privilege of having Richard Kozier. Hi, John. Thanks for having me On back. the program. You're so welcome from Perco. And Richard, what do you call this event? John, that's called Wellback. And it basically occurs when pressure builds up in a fuel tank as you're fueling and it can't vent fast enough. In 2010, the EPA mandated along with uh, Wellback, several other requirements to control fuel emissions, uh, and Wellback was one of the requirements to be done. So they require a check valve to be put in at the point of location of the fuel entry. Okay. So we have a demonstration here with a 25-gallon gas tank that I'd like to show you what Wellback is and then how we can solve that. All right, now we're not using gasoline here, guys. We have an actual fill that you would see at a gas pump and this is just attached to a garden hose okay correct. this is water but you want me to put some water into this correct. tank acting like it's gasoline correct okay, so, so let as me you, do that as you start to fill i'm going to play as the, I'm the uh, fill limit valve and i'm going to start to uh, shut off the pressure of the tank you'll see it builds oh my gosh spits out that's, that's, that's well That's back. what's called well back. Okay, this is really, really common in boating. Correct. Now, Perco has an inexpensive uh, uh, fix for this that's available for OEMs. And it's basically a little check valve, patent pending, that allows the fuel to go down through and then it has a flapper valve that closes to prevent any well back from coming back up the tank. So, so okay, so fuel comes through your fuel fill hose. It pushes down this flapper valve. Do you see that? pushes down the flapper valve, and then if it comes back, it stops it. Correct. Now, this is a, an example of a hose that we're going to change out that has the valve in place. Okay. It's a very inexpensive retrofit for a customer that has uh, boats prior to 2010, and for the OEMs, it's an inexpensive uh, uh, alternative to some of the other internal uh, vent valves that uh, are available on okay. the market. So you want so me to put some again. more water or slash gas back into the fuel fill. Correct. Now I'm going to close off the pressure. The ICV valve comes up and you do not see the well back come back up the tank. Zero coming back at you. This is amazing. And, and how expensive of a device is this? Basically, John, retail wise, it's less than $50 uh, to the consumer to retrofit their boat and OEMs can get it from us directly. Where is it available? Uh, www.perco.com uh, or at any marine retailer.